Hi Calvary, Amber here with your word for the day. We're gonna be looking at Psalms 9, and this is a psalm of praise and thanksgiving to God and celebrating his wonderful deeds. I encourage you to go ahead and read the whole chapter today on your own, but we're gonna be looking at the first two verses today. And so this is what it says. I give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. I will recount all your wonderful deeds. I will be glad and exult in you. I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. So we can see here that we are to give thanks and praise to God with our whole heart, with our whole inner being, with every aspect of our life. And this comes from surrendering to God and praising him with everything that we do and everything that we are. And then we also see that we are supposed to verbally express God's wonderful deeds. And this starts with history of him creating the earth. He created everything and praising him and recognizing him for that. Looking throughout all of history and looking throughout all of the Bible of how God is working and redeeming people's lives. And the pinnacle of that is Jesus coming to earth going to the cross and taking our punishment and our sin and our shame, rising from the dead, being victorious over sin and death and giving us his victory so that we could be saved and redeemed. And it's so important and significant when we make a consistent practice of expressing thanksgiving to God and recognizing his works around us because it changes our perspective in life we're able to see how God is in control of everything. He created everything and he's in control of everything. We're able to see how the world isn't as bad as the news makes it out to be because God is still working. God is actively working in this world and he's working in your life. You're able to see how God is good and loving and gracious and kind and he is with you and he is for you. And it changes our hearts and it changes our attitude when we do this, where we have more hope and hope that doesn't fade no matter what's going on. We have joy and we have peace, peace that lasts in the chaos and the fear. Um, and we are grateful and we're able to express that gratitude to God and those around us. So I encourage you today to start the practice of expressing gratitude and thanksgiving to God and recognizing how he is working around you. Have a great day, Calvary.